Right then, Dad. E type. The most drivable of all the models, in my opinion. V12 Series 3, Roadster, I think that ticks all the boxes really. Um, bulletproof, I've never known of anyone have any major issues with, with any of them. Also, I know in this case, but we don't go around at 150 mile an hour anymore, do we? You can't go around 150 mile an hour anymore. So. Now that's sweet, isn't it? Mm. Very, very sweet. So, with the traffic as it is today, we'll just turn it off for a minute, we've established that it sounds very nice. With the traffic as it, as it is, I even, I never ever thought I'd say this, but I wouldn't just miss an auto. I wouldn't. Um, because, because of the reasons we've just said, without reiterating, it's a more of a relaxed drive, and let's face it, it's more of a touring type of approach that we've got to these cars now. So, um, Yes, we've got a couple, I think, floating about. We're doing, the, uh, doing this one today. We've left the hood up. We'll put the hood up now we've taken the photographs. Left that up on purpose, obviously, to show that there's no damage to it. And the rear window is very good. All in good settle. Inside's nice. Very smart. I'll just pop open the boot lid, if I may. Uh, the boot lid. Jack and brace in there, hopefully a spare wheel. Just take a couple of these bits out. We'll leave these out, Jack, and you can photograph the floors and things. Oh, there we go, spare wheel in there. We'll leave them on the floor. And then there's your tools. That used, little things that used to fascinate me when I was a kid. <laughs> your granddad has always had E-types around. And, um, and I can remember the first V12 we bought, having that on the back. And when you're 12, 13, whatever it might be, 10, 11, 12, so looking at 40 odd years ago, um, it used to fascinate me, that, that thing at the back, yeah. So basically, all in all, a very, very usable E-type. Yeah, that looks all right, really done there. Which I think is um, well worth your time to come down and have a look. Very sensible on the guide. Very sensible, obviously, the guide and the reserves go hand in glove. Um, proving the fact that, despite what people think, you do not need a hundred thousand pounds for an E-Type. Um, everyone thinks you need a hundred thousand pounds for an E-Type, uh, which is great, I suppose, if you've got one sat on your drive, your neighbor thinks you've just given a hundred thousand pound for it. But there you go, that's just testament to the fact you do not need a hundred thousand pounds. I think that's a very usable car. I like that model. Yeah, that's not a lot more I can say. They're just a really good car. Fantastic value for money. Mm. Come down and have a look and see for yourself. Thank you.